Hey guys, it's day four at the new place and my I'm just waiting for my mom to come over. She's gonna help me clean up a bit and I still have to unpack everything. I didn't do anything yesterday, which was Friday the 12th because I was just really tired. I think I'm catching a cold, so I wasn't really feeling good. But look what my boyfriend made. He made me supper. He's so cute. Can you guys see how cute? I'm so excited. So he made supper for me and my mom. So we can have something to eat tonight. And so it's like a chicken, bacon chicken wrap thing with some vegetables and kale. A nice like dipping sauce because he knows I don't like dry chicken. He's so cute. And then um, lemon and bay leaf infused rice. So how sweet. We also have dessert. My mom's bringing a cake she made me. Which is such an amazing thing because I can't cook and he's a chef. So I really appreciate anything he makes me. And he's really, really talented. And his food is amazing. Like the best general towel I've ever had was made by him. So, so happy. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm waiting for my mom. And then we're gonna clean up a little. Maybe organize some more and put some stuff away. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog. But um, again, I'll do the same thing I did in my first video. I'll just like piece all the clips together in one video. So I'll see you in the next clip or possibly tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Hello and good morning. It is Sunday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm back to cleaning and organizing and my goal is to conquer my messy desk area. Um, I've unpacked boxes. I have a few left which I'll show you in a second but for right now I am organizing my cupcake aligners. So this is just like a temporary solution. I really want to buy like a plastic container and I put them all in but I have a ton so um, I'm gonna have to get one because the ones I have now are too small but I have this thing and it's just like a plastic oh what a disaster it's a plastic um, sleeve basically like bed sheets come in it I think they're really great for storing things so for now I'm putting them all in here so I just thought I would come in and show you guys what I'm organizing and how I'm organizing it just for the time being yeah. once I'm done doing this I will show you the rest that I have left to do and I'm done and I really like this because I get to see what I have um, because it's transparent and also um, and before I had it stored in this really ugly gray bag so I had to like kind of dig through it and it's just not convenient so now I have this really pretty see-through bag I just want to apologize I had to delete the first vlog that I made I'm gonna try and fix it um, try to find a way to maybe post it again I had this whole place full of boxes and now this is all I have left which is great um, this box is stuff that I can't unpack yet because it's jewelry, yeah, mostly jewelry, hair stuff, and I don't have a night table yet, so I can't unpack that. I have that bag full of stencils that I need to buy a pouch for, so I can't unpack that. I have my picture frames for my gallery wall, so I can't do that yet. I have this box that I can tackle. It has, um, a bunch of random scrapbooking things that I can probably figure out. And I have, this is just some Disney stuff and an empty box. And then my art journaling, paint, and all those type of supplies. My mixed media supplies basically are in that um, plastic bin over there. The space is cleared up. Whoa, it's all blue. So this is what's left for me to fix. And I'm going to try and do this today. Two boxes. i got to find a way to organize this. I really wish I could go shopping <laughs> because I want to... Um, buy like sh extra shelving thing you know like that thing that you have in the kitchen those shelves that they sell at, like winners or something and then you can add um extra shelving on it like basically for lockers or cupboards or in your fridge i think i'll get some of those so that i can maximize the space because you guys can see there's a lot of open space on the top so if i were to put like an extra shelving thing Maybe four. I can definitely maximize the space a little bit better. Yeah. But I gotta fix this mess because it's bothering me. I just want it to look nice by now. And look at this happy mail. I gotta show you really quickly. Um, I'm gonna be making a video, obviously, because this is just too cool. But I received some Valentine's Day happy mail. And it's like zombie themed. And it's so freaking cool from Mary. Thank you so much, Mary. You wanted to send me something, but I did not expect anything like this. So I'm so grateful and just so in love and i can't wait to show you guys what she made and how it's decorated inside it's just so cool but i just wanted to give a little shout out because it is valentine's day so thank you so much for that mary if you're watching and look how cute i put my like stamp what are these things roller 
date stamps in this little container. I'm really happy about that. I might keep that on my desk so I can use it for my project life, which I'm really excited to start. And I can't wait for everything to come in. I bought a messy book and it's black and white polka dots and then I'm waiting for my studio calico order to come in with my page leaves and everything else that I bought. So I'm really excited to start Project Life, but I want to make sure everything's organized. And with that, I'm going to have, you know, Project Life storage solutions and Project Life videos and stuff. I'm going to make like a little Project Life series because, you know, just showing you guys how I store my stuff. and. Um, yeah, I have a haul video that I need to make, but I'm waiting for everything else to come so I can do a collective haul video. My iMovies is down again. I don't know why it was working. Um, like a couple of weeks ago, I spent two days talking to the Apple Care people, and he basically told me that my I need more data on my computer, but for now to like delete, because I had like six videos to edit on my iMovies, and he's basically telling me that's taking up a lot of space, so... I had to clean through my videos, delete what I was not going to upload, and um, now I only have two videos on it, so I don't know why it's not working. It should be working because I was editing a video yesterday, and then towards the end it just stopped, and now I'm trying to edit a really tiny video at seven minutes, and it's not working again. I'm really frustrated because I thought it was fixed, and iMovies doesn't use Wi-Fi, so it can't be because of the spotty Wi-Fi here. At least I don't think it's because of that. I'm not really sure, but things are not going great with internet for me, and... Um, editing stuff. It's really a bummer. Actually, the internet's better now. It's kind of faster now. It works in all the spaces of the place. But now my iMovies isn't working, so I'm really, really frustrated. I don't understand what's going on. So yeah, I'm going to continue working on this. And How do you guys store your 6x6 papers and loose sheets? Um, I have them in this iris case, but I'm thinking of getting a tiny bin. I tried to use... Um, you see up here, there's like those black bins. I try to put it in there, but it's just too big. I don't have enough 6x6 paper pads, I guess. Um, and I kept falling down, so I'm going to get a smaller bin. I what I did a while ago was I went through all of my paper and destashed a lot. So these are all loose papers from mixed collections, and I just put them all in here and in here. So they're in bags, and... Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to store this. I don't know if I should keep them up. I don't want them. No. I don't want them in the iris case anymore. I want them more easily accessible. But then I also want to know how you guys store your scraps. Um, I have two plastic bags and then a Project Life like case thing of um, scraps of paper. But those are more for die cutting. So what do you guys do with these little tiny scraps? Like How do you store them? And... Um, yeah, just comment down below. I would love to know how you store your scraps. Where do you store your 6x6 paper pads and loose paper and stuff? Because this is a mess. Then I have all of my Halloween with my regular because I tend to go to my Halloween paper pads all year round. But now I don't know if I should put them in my Halloween bag. I'm not sure what to do. So comment down below. I'd love to know how you store your 6x6 paper pads. And if you have any tips or anything for me, I'd love to hear them. Update time. So I had some lunch. It was really fun. And then, um, yeah. It doesn't look like much, but I have emptied out one box of stuff. I've been watching some Project Life videos because, as you may know, I am starting Project Life. I've been saying that in, like, every second of every video, but I'm starting Project Life. So I kind of want to do, like... I don't know, when I start a new project, I love researching it and looking at it, you know, looking things up, researching YouTube, Studio Calico website, Pinterest, just to get inspiration and ideas. It's just something fun I like to do. So I'm really excited about that and I can't wait. Um, tonight is Walking Dead night. Oh my god, who's excited? I can't think of a better way to spend Valentine's Day than hanging out and watching Walking Dead. So I'm going to show you really quickly. I made some zombie pops. If you watched my last apartment haul, I bought these really cool zombie pops. And I'm going to show you them in just... Adorable zombie pops. Look at them. They're so cute. Yeah. Hello. It is Monday, February 15th. I just got home from shopping. As you can see, I spent a lot and bought a lot of fun stuff. Things I needed. Sorry, that was my food heating up, so I'm just going to have a little bit of lunch. But I just want to show you guys, I did some major hauling today. Um, a lot of stuff, a lot of organizational stuff, a lot of everyday things I needed to pick up. 
And um, yeah, I'll probably show you guys everything that I got once I have everything unpacked. And also yesterday, um, I built up my marker storage, so I'm going to show you guys that as well. So um, I'm just going to have a little lunch and I'll be right back. I love me some storage. <laughs> Look at all this stuff I got. So um, yeah, I got lots of bins. I found some really cool white marble contact paper. Um, I think I'm going to use it in a DIY for, or something like that. I'm not really sure. I got this sectional clear acrylic tray. At, it was $2.50 at the dollar store. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to, you know, put my Project Life cards in here or something. I like how it's separated. Um, I want stuff like this that this can sit on my RAS cog and then I can lift it and bring it to my table if I need it. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to use it for... Um, all project life cards or you know if I'm working on a project I put the project life cards here the embellishments here and whatnot you know like separate the different things or like stamps or enamel dots stuff like that I do apologize for the lighting let me see if I can make it brighter okay I also got another one of these I already have one but I really really like it I put my die cuts in here and I figured I'm gonna try and see if I can stack it on top of the one I have already because there's these little drawers and it's a great idea for storing die cuts and stickers and embellishments and like enamel dots and stuff like that. That's going to sit on my table. I found these gorgeous coasters. They're so pretty. And they have silver on the sides. They were on sale for $8. And they're just really, really, really pretty. So I'm happy with that find. I found the um, kitchen shelves that I wanted. So I'm going to get to work on putting everything together. And I'll come back and maybe hopefully... I'll have some more to show you guys. So that is my marker caddy storage thing that I built. It's from Michaels. And um, my Copics. My Copics fit really, really nicely. Um, and then I just added my Distress markers. My Tombow dual brush markers fit nicely here. And then in here, um, I'm not sure. It's not 100% quite done yet. But I really like how it turned out. My my Copics look really cute there. And I don't know where I'm going to put that marker caddy. If I should put it on my desk or leave it there. I'm not quite sure where that's going just yet. And I really like it. So I'm really happy with that. Alright guys. I'm going to end the vlog here. I might continue showing some more stuff that I did today. If not tomorrow. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next clip. I think what's bothering me is the fact that there's too much in its place. I like to start fresh with a clean slate. So I think I'm going to have to take everything out and then start over again. Because this, I can't do this. I can't work with this. There's too many things lying around. Um, too many things on the shelf. I need to clear everything out so that I can start fresh. Yesterday I organized my 6x6 in the bin I bought. That's what that's going to Just did our first load of laundry. I love this laundry hamper we got from Ikea. It goes with our room decor and it rolls. It's so cute. I am losing my mind. Okay, Lego. That's my life right now. Mess everywhere. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm currently organizing... Well, I'm going through these boxes slowly. And I'm organizing some um, some paper bags and doilies I have. I'm thinking of putting that pile right here. That's all doilies, paper bags. I had it in here. But I'm thinking of switching out my pearls and bling. I have them in one of these pouches. So I'm thinking of seeing how they look like in this bin. If not, I'm going to put those paper bags and, and doilies back in there. Um, so in here I have um, things that I have to film a haul for because I ordered some stuff online and I'm just waiting for other things to come in so I can do a collective haul. I doesn't look like I have much progress going on right now, but I am slowly getting things done. Oh. This is what it looks like for now. Sorry that it's dark. Um, I have the little kitchen shelf, so under there is my cinch and my insect share, my my die cutting machine, my dies, my embossing folders, my cutter, my glue tape runner, my fuse tool, and other things are behind the. Thing. Not the nicest way of storing it. And I'm trying to figure out this shelf. I don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. Um, I'm struggling because I want to make it look pretty. Like, you know, fancy craft areas that you see on Instagram and everything. But I don't think that's going to happen in my case because I have way too much stuff. 
and unfortunately all this is going to look cluttered. I'm really bummed out about that. I don't want it to look cluttered, but I don't think I can make it look pretty and practical at the same time because I have way too much stuff and I want to maximize the space I have. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Um, oh my gosh, what day is it? February 18th, I believe. Yeah. I apologize I haven't been keeping up with the vlog. Um, just kind of forgot. Other things came up. Yesterday was kind of dead. I didn't really do anything. Um, but today, all I've been doing is cleaning and organizing, and I'm exhausted. But so far, this is what my craft area looks like. I still have a box under there that um, hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to empty out because I finally bought a dresser yesterday at Ikea. So tomorrow my dad's going to come over and help me build it. And so um, this is what everything looks like for now. It looks cluttered, which I, I don't really like, but I mean I have to live with that. Um, I'll show you what this cupboard looks like. I have my 12 by 12 papers and everything on the right. Two little pouches have uh, paper bags and one have, the other one is um, flowers. And then I have extra stickers, alphas, papers, a bin full of bling, pens, digital stamped images. And, and then this is temporary. Just don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I like how all my books and albums look in that basket. So I'll probably um, keep that like that or something along those lines <sighs> yeah tools and then in there it's pretty much the same you've seen that before so um, I have decided to maximize the space this corner here um, I'm going to probably buy another sort of unit I'm still figuring out if I want the calyx those single calyx from Ikea or I was thinking of getting the one from Michaels that looks like this and then putting up the two tiny calyx one, you know, just two cubes on top of that. Because I do want open space and I want closed space because I want to be able to, you know, have things in drawers. But I want to open them like if I want to display 12 by 12 papers or albums, I want to be able to do that have it open. Um, if that makes any sense, I'm so sorry, I'm tired. My rice cog looks like this for now. I'm making a Project Life top layer. Um, I bought the Adonis, what's it called? I don't know, that plastic bin, I'll show you. I bought this bin from Ikea, but I also have this little tray that has three spots. So I don't really know how I'm going to organize this just yet. I um, have all my ephemera in here. So today I was trying to add those doors, like cabinet doors, in the calyx spacer we got for our room. Um, however, I need a power drill because there was no way I can drill into the wood that's already like there with the screws you definitely need a power drill I looked it up on YouTube and there was no way I can do that with a hand screwdriver so tomorrow I'm gonna do that I'm kinda bummed because I really really wanted to do that today so that tomorrow all I have to focus on is the dresser I'll do that tomorrow and then besides that I've been cleaning um, I know this vlog's kinda boring but yeah that's it for now I guess I'm going to um, Take some time for myself, rest my wrist, watch some videos. I'm hopefully uploading a video right now. My internet's still really crap. Um, I don't know if to fix that, figure it out somehow. But I haven't been able to post videos that well. It takes honestly forever to upload a video over a day. And it's very frustrating. The video is like five minutes long and I've been wanting it uploaded since Sunday because it's a Valentine's Day card video. And it's obviously past Valentine's Day. Not sure people are going to watch it, but I want to get this video up. So it's finally uploading after trying to edit it like four times. I ended up having to edit it back at my parents' house and then, and then added the audio and stuff here. But, but my iMovies kept crashing again. I'm just having the worst luck with my laptop and everything. I don't know what's going on. I also planted a succulent. Um, I don't know. This I don't think this is going to hold up. I got this geometric thing at Michael's. It's definitely not a plant these um it's for a candle i try my best to to put it in the soil and everything but it's kind of exposed i'm not sure if that's good or bad um i added some water but as you can see if you can see it leaked so i added this little ikea plate but it looks really cute and i thought it would look nice there in that little geometric shape thing i also got this one from ikea really cute. I don't know if this is going to be okay for the plant to survive in. So I might have to figure another way for that little plant. I'm thinking of naming them. I don't know, this one kind of reminds me of a Jerry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this one's going to be Jerry. And 
Durin, because it says Durin, oh, I don't even know how to say that name. So I'm going to call it Durin and Jerry. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I may or may not add more to this. I probably won't. I think i um, pretty much done vlogging uh, my experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know my first video was removed. That's because I had some personal information that I didn't want to share. I thought I had fixed it, but it was still there, so I had to take it down. I'm sorry. Um, if I find a way to fix it, I'll upload it again. But it's basically kind of showing you all the boxes I had to do and then my first day and then my first meal that I cooked for myself. It's actually going to be over a week now that I'm here. So yeah, very exciting. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys can like and subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more videos planned, I promise. I have a lot of ideas. I just have to settle in and get ready and build a schedule. I'm thinking of having an uploading schedule so that's something more more fixed and um, stable for my YouTube. And I have a lot of ideas, a lot of projects, so hopefully you guys can subscribe and follow along with that my journey. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye.